How y'all doing, my friends? Y'all doing all right? Well, happy Sunday and happy Monday to those that are getting this video on Monday. Or happy Tuesday if y'all are getting this video on Tuesday, okay? Because y'all, I may have my videos uploaded either on a Monday or Tuesday. Especially my church videos because I be running like a little bit behind on editing my videos lately because the sister be tired, okay? But anyways, how's everybody doing on this beautiful day that the Lord has made, y'all? He has given us another day, another opportunity to get it right, y'all. He breathed air in our lungs. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God is a good God, y'all. He is so good. He is the great I am. Hallelujah. Y'all, I'm on my way, babies. I'm on my way. I've been running this morning. Y'all hear me? I've been running, child. I woke up about 7, 7.30. But I had to get up and earn my dress. I had to earn my jacket, y'all. Because normally I earn my stuff at nighttime. But I was just like doing a lot of stuff. Trying to clean up last night. Trying to finish um, putting up all that stuff I had bought at the Dollar Tree. Girl, I was just doing a lot. Trying to get stuff situated. And I didn't even earn nothing. Plus I was tired, hungry. And I was ready to go to bed. <laughs> But anyways, y'all, yeah, I'm kind of like running this morning, even though I'm not late. But I just hate that sometimes when I'm getting ready for church, y'all, I be want to like be ahead, you know. I don't want to be rushing and stuff like that. And this morning, I was kind of like rushing. But however, I hope everybody is having a blessed Sunday on today. I hope y'all are getting y'all ready for church, ready to praise the Lord, go in and worship and thank the Lord just because of who he is. Hallelujah. And I pray everybody had a blessed weekend on this week. And um, I pray that y'all have a blessed week as well. I pray that y'all have a blessed week. That it seemed like y'all, as soon as Friday hit, it seemed like as soon as you lay your head down and Saturday, you wake up on Saturday, it seemed like the, the whole little weekend is already over. Because <laughs> you know, you got to start your day back over again, Monday morning. I'm just saying, y'all. And it starts all over again and it's just like, you didn't you didn't get no, no type of relaxation in. It's like, you just busy all the time. And that's myself. I'm speaking on myself because I'm always busy and I'm always doing something, child. And it just seems like every Friday, girl, I be thinking I'm finna have like a little nice, relaxed weekend. But uh, child, I'm always doing something. Y'all know I'm still trying to get stuff together. So, girl, it's gonna take me a little minute to just have a day to myself because I'm going to continue to keep doing everything that I need to do for my home and try to get it together. So that's the reason why y'all didn't see me like getting myself fully together in my beauty room this morning because it is not finished. And um, like I said, I still got boxes and stuff in there. And I just got to find places to put my my sneakers, my shoes and stuff. And I just ain't got it together in there yet, y'all. So y'all probably not gonna see my beauty room until I get some stuff organized up in there. Okay, babies. So I am sorry about that. Yes, I am. But um, I done made it up here, y'all. And these people are, they are headed on in this parking lot, y'all. They are. Coming, babies. Y'all hear me now? Last Sunday, was it last Sunday? I think it was the Sunday before. That's when we had a packed house. We had a packed house, y'all. I need to sit y'all down. So we can park right there. Mm -hmm. I got y'all going all kind of ways, babies. <laughs> I really don't like parking next to nobody because, like I said, y'all, they will park so close to you and they will hit the side of your car door. And I just don't like that. Is this camera kind of dark, y'all, today? For some reason, I feel like it is. 
There we go. I just feel like it's a little dark. Let me try to get over a little bit. Here we go. Thank you, Jesus, for allowing me to make it here safely, babies. Hmm. I don't know. Okay, let me get my other camera, y'all. Hopefully, it let me get some footage for y'all. I pray that it that it let me get some footage for y'all. Look at this camera, man. Camera been acting up. The black camera, y'all. It's always acting up, babies. All right, friends. I'll let y'all see my outfit once I get in the church house, which I just got on my solid black dress with my um, black and white like blazer jacket. And then just to add a little pop of color, I had got my burgundy bag and my shoes with the burgundy in it. So that's what I'm wearing today. I'm finna eat my doggone banana right quick. I need to put something on my stomach. Lord, I thank you for this banana. Lord Jesus, I pray that you help me to digest it. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. <laughs> mm. All right, y'all. I'm finna head on in. I'm gonna see y'all in a minute, okay? Y'all enjoy the service, and y'all have a blessed Sunday on today. All right, my friends. This is my church look for today. All right, y'all, so this is what I am rocking. I hope y'all enjoy the church service. Y'all get y'all praise on. And, uh, can't <laughs> I'll see y'all at the church.
right, my friends. How did y'all enjoy the church service on today? Y'all, let me just say this. The devil is busy. Y'all hear me? The devil is busy. First off, he started messing with the with the audio of the church. And the pastor had to had to start using like y'all know that little horn thing so that he that uh we'll be able to hear him because um the mics were so low when they were singing in the choir and i and i paid attention to that i was just like what's really going on with the sound because it's kind of low baby we started pulling down strongholds up in that thing and that's when God began to move in the house. Y'all hear me? The devil is busy, baby. The devil is real, real busy trying to stop the word of the Lord. But we praised it anyway. We praised it anyway. And we had a special guest on today, y'all. Due to Founders Day being on this Sunday. And I had a good time. I had a real good time. I enjoyed that young man's testimony. I didn't get him uh, actually speaking on his testimony because I had to put my camera down, babies. But if y'all want to go back and watch it, y'all can tune in to TOD Memphis and y'all will be able to see his full testimony about him talking about he had cancer and God delivered him. Thank you, Jesus. And just like he delivered him, I know that he would deliver somebody else. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Let me just tell y'all my quick testimony right quick. So I went to the doctor, y'all. And um, when I went to the doctor, you know, I was just going for a women's physical, just like a checkup <clears throat> to get everything tested and stuff like that. And that's when they found inflammation all up and out and through my legs and stuff like that. And I said, okay. So the devil really think he got me. The devil really think he got me. So they gave me some medication, y'all, to take because remember me telling y'all that I had one side of my leg was swollen. And I don't know if y'all remember me speaking on this, but my legs were swollen. And I know it'll like switch from leg to leg like one leg will be swollen one day and then the next leg will be slim and then probably like i'm gonna say like three days y'all then my other leg will get swollen and then the other one will go down but thank god for jesus because he delivered me y'all hear me he delivered both of my legs to where i don't have no inflammation in the body I don't have no issues with my legs at all. I used to suffer with leg pain, y'all. And I know that came from the enemy. But I thank God that he healed my legs because his blood works. Thank you, Jesus. His blood delivers. Thank you, Jesus. And I thank him because his blood heals. Hallelujah. That he is a God that heals. He is a God that delivers and sets free. Whom the Son set free is free indeed. And God delivered my body. He made me whole, y'all. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So right now to this day, y'all, I don't suffer with leg pain like I used to. Right now to this day, y'all, my legs are just fine. And I praise him for that because there ain't nobody but the good Lord that touched my legs. I praise him, y'all, that it was nobody but the good Lord that touched every part of my body to make it whole again. Thank you, Jesus. God is always on time. He can perform miracles, signs, and wonders, y'all. All you got to do is believe. Give him a praise because you owe him a praise anyway. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise his name. Y'all, praise his name. Give him the glory. Give him the glory because he deserves the glory, the honor, and the praise. Thank you, Jesus. God is so good. He is the master. He is the ruler. He is the creator of this generation. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise your name. Thank 
you, my Heavenly Father. Some people walk around here and say that the Lord is the universe. Let me just correct you. The Lord made the universe. Jesus is the creator of the universe. So a lot of people got it mixed up with they talking to the universe or I praise the universe. No, baby, God is the creator of the universe. Let me just correct you right there, okay? So many people need to understand that God is the creator of the earth and the heavens. Hallelujah, praise your name. He is the one that created the universe. He is the creator, the master. He is the head. He is the beginning and the end. Thank you, Jesus. He's the first and the last. Hallelujah. Praise your name, Jesus. I praise your name now. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I praise your name on this morning, Father. Thank you, Jesus, for saving somebody's life today. God, I praise your name, Jesus, for healing a body today, God. I thank you, God, for looking over the sick, Jesus. Hallelujah. I thank you, oh God, for touching all of my enemies this morning in the name of Jesus. That they might hate me, slander my name. They may not like me, but God, I ask that you bless them. Hallelujah. Bless their children. Thank you, Jesus. Bless them now. In Jesus' mighty name, glory be to God. Y'all, we serve a holy God, a righteous God, a God that is mighty. Thank you, Jesus. God is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Y'all, church is always, always on time. Y'all, we need God. We need him, we need him, we need him. We cannot go on throughout this life without him. We need him in every area in our lives. We need our heavenly father. Thank you, Jesus, that we cannot do nothing without him. He carries us. He lifts our head up, y'all. He's the one that is the peacemaker. He's the author and the finisher of my faith. Thank you, Jesus sovereign and he reigned on the throne thank you hallelujah thank you jesus glory to your name father mm. he's the alpha and the omega the beginning and the end thank you jesus the sovereign redeemer hallelujah he's an incredible god an amazing god he is consistent in all his ways perfect in all of his ways hallelujah that there is nothing that he cannot do Thank you, Jesus, that I trust in him. I believe in him. Glory to your name, Heavenly Father, that you are the secret place. Thank you, Jesus, that you are my defender and my vindicator. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus, and you will forever be my king and assessor. Hallelujah. I praise your name. I praise your name, Jesus. I praise your name. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Y'all, I am on my way home. I said that I was going to go to, um, where I said I was going to go. I wanted to go into the Goodwill today because I wanted to find me a cute little tray for my perfumes. And I was just going to spray paint it rose gold. Cause you know you can find a cute little tray at the at the Goodwill chat for a little bit of nothing and just revamp it, spray paint it yourself. But then I saw some at um, Burlington's when I was there, but all of them was gold. And then I believe I saw some. What store was I at, y'all? Where I saw them trays? I think it was Ross. Where I saw some cute little trays, but they were gold, y'all. And I don't wanna since they had the mirror like down in the inside of the tray. I didn't want to spray paint that because I'm afraid that I was going to mess up the mirror part of the tray. So I really just get like a full, like solid, like metal tray and I can just spray paint it and just like add all my perfumes and stuff like that on it and just sit it on my white console um, table in my pretty room. But I shall see. Oh, excuse me. That's what I was planning on doing today 
growing up in a good wheelchair, just looking at their little knickknacks and stuff that they got sitting around and stuff to see what I can read for them. And um, I was going to show y'all how I was going to um, put my candle holder together because I never got a chance to do it yesterday once I got done doing my countertops. Um, I said I was just going to uh, get those clear candle holders and I was going to glue them together on my little vases that I made with my makeup brushes and those other two little jars, y'all, that got my cotton balls and my Q-tips in them. I was going to just add those candle holders so they can sit a little taller on my desk. So I probably end up doing that as well. And um, I was trying to see what else I had to do today, y'all. I'm trying to think. Uh, that might be it, y'all. That might just be it. Hmm. I want to find me some black curtains somewhere. But I just don't feel like driving around today, y'all. Going, like, to store to store. I was just planning on going up in a Goodwill today. I just wanted to just look around and see what kind of stuff they had in there. But, like I said, y'all, I may, I may end up, well, I really don't want to drive all the way over here, y'all. I really don't. <laughs> I was going to try to go up in Ollie's today because I know I didn't go up in there. Um, when I was going up in all them stores, Burlington's and Rawls, y'all, when I was looking for some stuff and I was going to take y'all in Ollie's, but I never did because I just went up in Rawls. But, um, I may just take y'all up in Ollie's another whole day because I'm still trying to find me a, um, a, a curtain rod, y'all. Oh, this street is so messed up. Jesus, they need to fix it, girl. They need to fix this street before winter time comes. Cause it's gonna be so many potholes. Oh Jesus. Y'all, this is a messed up street, babies. I mean, they need to really fix this road. But anyway, I think I wanna find me two black curtain rods, y'all. And um, I decided that I may end up taking that gold rod back and just get a black solid one for that window that is sitting like in my um, living room, dining room area and then get another solid black one to go in my kitchen. Because if I move again, I know that I'll be able to just use both of those black rods instead of getting a gold one. And then see, I may switch up to silver. See, and you know, I'll have a gold rod and I wouldn't know where to put it because y'all know I be switching up a lot of times and um black go with anything child so i may just take that bag and try to find me two black ones that's what i may end up doing but however it's a lot of extra stuff y'all that i have to get done still that i have not yet to get done <laughs> that i need to get done but anyway, I just hope and pray y'all enjoyed the church service on today. I hope y'all had a, a blessed, blessed, blessed Sunday, even though today is Monday or Tuesday or whatever day y'all get in this video. I'm just thankful that y'all had a blessed Sunday on today. Hallelujah. Praise God. So, so, so good, y'all. It's so good. So, y'all, the other side of my countertops, I did not start working on it because I'm going to have to go back to Walmart and get another whole row of this stuff because I kind of like ran out. <laughs> it's like I got just enough to do maybe, maybe one, maybe one side like just lay one one row on one side of the counter but I won't be able to finish the rest of it because I don't have enough so I'm 
gonna have to go back to Walmart, y'all, and just like purchase me another whole row of this stuff. And I may just have some extra because I don't need too much of it. But I'm gonna have to try to finish my countertops. But it looks really, really nice, y'all. It does. I woke up though, when I woke up this morning and I went in my kitchen, y'all, I see like a couple little bubbles that was trying to air up in the, in the, uh, what y'all call it the peeling stick it was trying to like air up under the stick part of the of the paper and i was just like where are all these bubbles coming from i know i tried to get it smooth as i could when i laid it down girl i don't know what happened but i'm not gonna mess with it though i may just try to pull it up just a little bit just a little bit to try to smoothen it down I may just try to do that. And then I forgot all about that clear gloss that I got to put on my dresser. I didn't do none of that yesterday, girl. I was tired. I was tired. So I just want to get in some hot water in my bed. <laughs> That's all I wanted to do. Just get in some hot water in my bed, y'all. So I really did finish a lot of stuff that I was supposed to finish um, yesterday. But I'm going to try to get some of that stuff done probably sometime this week. I'm going to try to get some of this stuff done, y'all. So if many of y'all did not catch my other vlog, which it wasn't a long vlog. It was kind of short. It wasn't too long. I had uploaded it on my hair channel, my other channel. So if y'all did not see that vlog, y'all can head on over to my other channel. I always have the link to my other channel down in the description box. I'll leave like a little clip somewhere in this video sharing with y'all um, what I was doing over there, which I was trying the street tacos. Me and Jemaya was trying the street tacos and then I had cooked my ziti. I cooked that and um, I was trying the um, those little Mexican bowls as well. The ones that I bought from Costco. I was trying those over there y'all and then I did like a bag review that I will be just blessing somebody with that bag so if y'all want to head on over there to watch that particular vlog I'll just drop the link down in my description box and my hair channel is candy poo 1100 y'all candy poo 1100 for many of y'all do not go over there and watch that channel a lot of y'all watch over here which is strictly my vlog channel a lot of y'all watch over here and some of y'all that are new may not even know I have a second channel, which I do. And I will be uploading over there sometimes, doing like reviews and stuff. And I may throw out a couple of vlogs over there. So if y'all are not catching a vlog over here on this channel, y'all will probably see a vlog or a review or something like that over there on that channel. Okay, but I know y'all I have not uploaded over there, girl, for about two months. I don't even know how long it's been. So that's the reason why I had uploaded a video over there because I haven't been over there in a while. Because I know, like I said, y'all, it's different people that watches both of my channels. So I have a crowd over there and a crowd over here. And the people that's over there probably wondering, Candy Pooh have not been over here in a good two months, babies. Where is she at? So that's the reason why I had uploaded a vlog over there, y'all. So yeah, if y'all want to watch it, y'all can head on over there and catch that one as well okay but um i do have another vlog coming up um i do where i was at the stores and stuff like that y'all have not saw that vlog yet and i'm sitting up here talking about curtain rods when i was at the store y'all probably don't know nothing about that channel but y'all will because i will upload that video sometime this week for y'all so y'all will see exactly what I was talking about about the curtain rods because in that vlog I purchased my gold curtain rod and I'm probably gonna end up taking that back and getting two black curtain rods so in this video y'all probably don't even understand what I'm saying babies because y'all haven't saw the video yet of me even shopping at the stores <laughs> okay cuz I want to throw y'all off or have y'all confused but that video will be up sometime this week okay y'all so but anyways, um, I'm on my way to the house, y'all. And I will see y'all as soon as I get there. Because like I said, y'all, I'm going to try to put these um, candle things together. And um, I may go to the Goodwill if I'm tired. I'm not going. 
I'm not gonna go, y'all. I'm gonna have to pass and go on another whole day, babies. But anyway, I'm gonna babes. I have walked into my home and um I went ahead on and grabbed my ring light because I'm gonna sit y'all in my ring light. And um I grabbed my my cute little jars right here that I had spray painted the top. And this is my other jar that I had made, y'all. Actually, I just spray painted it and put some painter's tape around it. And um, it came out looking like that. But they're not just like all that. But, you know, they, they look all right, y'all. But I'm going to add these. Um, let me get these things right quick. I'm going to add these candle holder. Little glass candle holder sticks. Now, mind y'all, y'all are going to see me on another whole video shopping for this stuff that I'm showing y'all right now, which are these candle holders. Because I went to the Dollar Tree yesterday, which was Saturday, okay? But I picked these up, and I picked up four of them. And, wait a minute, let me just sit y'all up right quick. Y'all give me a second. I am back. Now, let me just show y'all what I'm trying to do here. So... I got four of these and I just knew y'all wasn't going to be able to find these because I know that Dollar Tree has stopped selling these. But um, they had a couple of them at the, the big Dollar Tree that I will be taking y'all in when I upload this, this video when I was at the Dollar Tree. <laughs> and I had found these because I'm going to tell y'all what I was going to do. I was going to actually go to the Goodwill today looking for these. But I just forgot all about that I had purchased them when I was at the Dollar Tree yesterday. But this is what I'm finna do, y'all. And y'all know what? I don't even know if the hot glue gun gonna work because I normally would get some E6000 glue and glue this type of stuff together so it can stay. But y'all get the concept right. This is what I'm actually trying to do. Glue this on top of here like this. Y'all see this? I think that's cute. And then I may just end up putting some some um, painter's tape just around the middle part of this and just spray painting maybe the bottom part so it can go with the lid, if that makes sense. So this won't just be clear. I'm going to spray paint just this part down here, rose gold. And this is the spray paint that I was using to spray paint everything, y'all. This is the color that I was using, which is a pretty color. And then I had picked up some um, some picture frames. I picked those up and I was going to spray paint the, the picture frames and add my designer um, like posters inside of them and hang some of them up on the wall. I don't think I'm hanging up all of them, but I shall see. But I'm gonna see how that turns out, y'all. I had plugged up my hot glue gun, cause like I said, I don't know if this gonna work. And then this jar here, I was gonna do the same. Just add these on top of there like this so it can sit up. And then I probably end up just spray painting just like the bottom part so it can go with the top part of the jar. So it won't just be all clear. So yeah, and these jars, y'all, like I said, they kind of screwed up. Like they ain't just straight due to the painter's tape. It wasn't straight going around here. It was like, I don't know. It was kind of like messed up when I pulled the tape away from around the jar. It kind of like made a lot of little squiggly lines. So it don't look all, it don't look all that to me, but it'll do, <laughs> it'll do. But anyway, let me just go ahead and take y'all over here to my kitchen right quick because that's where I got the hot glue gun plugged up. So y'all give me a second. I'm back, y'all. I had went out in my backyard and I had went ahead on and spray painted the bottom part of those candle holders. And I'm trying to let them dry for a minute, but I know it's not going to take that long because this is like some fast dry um, spray paint that I bought. But I'm letting them sit there for a minute before I take the tape off. Because I got my little hot glue gun right here, which this is like a little small hot glue gun, y'all. And I don't know if this going to work. Because like I said, you're really supposed to have E6000 glue, you know, doing stuff like this. <laughs> like gluing glass with glass. So, 
I don't know, it may not last long as far as like sticking wise, you know, because I don't think it's going to hold. Y'all know those, um, those vases that I showed y'all with the black candle holder. Them had already lifted up, y'all. So I know that I'm going to have to go buy some E6000 glue. Because I had used my hot glue gun to try to glue the glasses down on the black candle holders. They didn't last. And plus, I probably didn't even have enough glue on it no way. But they came right on up, child. <laughs> they came right on up. So they sitting in there. They on top of the candle holder. But they're not stuck to the candle holder. It's like they're barely like hanging on. But anyway, y'all give me a second. Let me let y'all see how these little holders so y'all look. This is what I'm talking about. So I just spray painted like the bottom part. And then I have tape going around in the middle. And once I take that tape off, then I'm going to add. Let me get one of these jars. I'm going to add it like this so it can look like that right there. I think that's cute. This is my other one. I had scraped this one on the side right there, y'all. So I'm going to have to go back outside and y'all probably can't see. <laughs> but um, I'm going to have to go re-spray paint that one. This is my other one. I actually spray painted all four of them. I just got to be careful because I know these ain't all the way, all the way dry. But, yeah. Once they get fully dry, y'all, I'm going to glue them. Actually, you know what? Let me try to just glue one of them. Is this the one that's messed up? This one should be okay. I think I may need to go back outside, y'all, and re-spray paint them again. This one really messed up because I didn't, I didn't scrape the paint on the other one. So, I'm going to take them back outside and do like a double coat. And then I'm going to come back and then I'm going to try to hot glue them on together and see how they look and hopefully they stick until i get my e6000 glue okay y'all i'll be right back i am back i just um went outside and did a double spray paint um on the bottom part of those candle holders now i ain't gonna mess with them this time y'all because i don't want to mess them up again plus let me just bring something to y'all attention right quick because y'all probably wondering candy poo countertops are like a black and white marble i did that yesterday y'all <laughs> these videos like i said y'all they're kind of backwards because i did that yesterday which was saturday and today's sunday which y'all probably be getting this video a little later but y'all are going to actually see like the whole full countertops and the final result of how i did this side only I still got to do this side over here, but y'all will see that. I know y'all just got a little, a little glimpse of what it looked like, <laughs> but um, yeah, I actually did that yesterday, y'all. So y'all probably wondering like, her countertops are cute. They different. Yeah, I did that yesterday, babies, but I'll let y'all see it, see it. And then I still haven't finished like, it's a part in front of my sink. I have to lay a piece in front of that because I have not finished that part yet. I just did like both sides of the counter, like each side, but I didn't do the middle part where the sink. Let me let y'all see. Can y'all see this part here? It's still like the uh the cabinet, which how it was when I first when I first got here and don't mind none of this stuff y'all that's my salmon in the sink i'm letting it on thaw okay don't mind none of this stuff over here child okay because <laughs> i'm gonna get ready to eat me a salmon salad okay and i had my salmon in the freezer it was frozen so i'm just sitting it out letting it unthaw but however i still have to put a piece in front of that sink right there and i haven't yet so yeah but anyway I'm going to wait till those dry, y'all, and I'll probably end up coming back just showing y'all the final results because I don't want to just, like, I'm matter of fact, I'm going to unplug this, this high glue gun because it ain't no sense of me trying to put this stuff together, I don't think, because it's just not dry yet. And this time, I just want to, like, make sure, you know. Yeah, I'm going to try to um, get out of these clothes and relax a little bit, y'all. Probably try to take me a quick little nap and um i thought i was gonna go to the goodwill but i really don't feel like it i really 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 don't feel like it i may end up going one day when i get off um 
when I get off work, I'll go and just browse in there. <sighs> but I really just don't. I don't even feel like it, y'all. I don't. I need to like lay down and get some rest. <laughs> I need to lay down and get some rest, babies. But I will come back though and let y'all see how everything turned out. Even though y'all probably get the concept of, you know, how it's gonna look. And let me show y'all something else I'm gonna spray paint. Give me a sec. Okay, so y'all see these picture frames? I'm gonna spray paint these and add my designer uh, photos in here. And I probably sit a couple of them like on something and then I may hang some up on the wall on the opposite side of my mirror because like I told y'all I'm not hanging up all those white boxes like I had them in my other house I'm not doing it that way I'm just hanging up maybe two boxes on one side and then the other side I may do something different so it can be like just a different type of background if that makes sense <laughs> but yeah I did pick up three of these because I got three designer like poster pictures so i'm just gonna spray paint them rose gold i may spray paint maybe two of them black and one rose gold or i may do two rose gold and one black i don't know y'all but i shall see i shall see i don't know but anyway candy poof and get ready to get off of here y'all i gotta straighten up again over here on this side of my home I was supposed to take y'all to Ollie's I said then I said I was going to Ollie's y'all to look for me some black curtains or something like that I don't know because I couldn't really find what I was looking for in Ross when I went up in there yesterday but y'all gonna catch all of that y'all gonna catch all of that this week okay I'm gonna try to have that video uploaded for y'all sometime um trying to see what else I got to tell y'all yeah I'm taking that gold uh, it's a gold curtain rod that I bought yesterday to y'all I'm gonna take it back to the store <sighs> yeah I'm gonna take that back and get probably a black one for this window and the window over here in my kitchen and um, I need some sort of stand as well y'all to go like up under that gold metal piece that I got on the wall over here I need like a pretty stand or something to sit like a lot of my kitchen stuff on y'all probably don't know what I'm talking about but I will probably have to just go searching and find one or I may just find one online I don't know but I'll see but anyways, babies, I am going to talk to y'all a little bit later. I hope y'all enjoyed hanging out with me on today. I know this video wasn't real, real, real long, y'all. I'm so sorry about that, babies. But I thought I was going to show y'all how everything turns out. But I ain't going to be able to do that. I'm just not going to be able to do it right now. <laughs> I'm going to wait. But I'm probably going to go outside and spray paint these picture frames, though. I may do it sometime today or I may do it tomorrow i don't know child but anyways i love y'all y'all be blessed and y'all depend on the lord depend on the lord please depend on my heavenly father he is all that we have y'all he is all that we have so i pray to god that y'all get to know him because when y'all do, it is a beautiful, beautiful sight. You will never want to go back to your old ways. You will just spread your wings <laughs> and live a righteous, holy life, y'all. It is a beautiful thing to know that the Lord has your back no matter what you're going through in life, y'all. God has your back. God has your back, babies, even though he has taken care of all of us. But when you get to know him, know him, know him, and walk upright, it is a beautiful sight. It is a beautiful, beautiful sight, y'all. And take it from your sister, Candy Poo. I already know. 
I already know, babies, that the Lord is my daddy that I never had, y'all. He is my daddy that I never had. Y'all know my daddy is not living. And I have never, ever, ever seen him in my life. Like me personally meeting him in my life. He probably have seen me. But me just meeting him while he was here on this earth. I never got a chance to do that. And he's already dead and gone. So my heavenly father is my daddy. And he's been my daddy, y'all, ever since I came out my mother's womb. He's been my daddy. Now I can see why my life went the way that it went. Now I see that it's all about God. It's all about God. That he is the one that is my provider. He is my healer. He is my way maker. He is my best friend. He is my mother when I'm motherless. He is my brother when I'm brotherless. He is everything to me. And I give him glory. He is my Jehovah Rapha. He is my Jehovah Shalom. He is my Emmanuel. He is the God that sits high and look low. He is Jehovah Jireh. Thank you, Jesus. And he is my Jehovah Gabar. I love him. I so love him, y'all. And I cannot be without him. And I just hope and pray to God that y'all get in a place to where y'all serve God and only God. And it is a beautiful sight. It is a beautiful sight. I love y'all. Y'all be blessed. And I will see y'all on the next video. Later, babe. Hey, y'all. How y'all doing? I want to come back on here right quick and um let me move some of this stuff out of my way oh babies i am so tired and sleepy y'all but today is another whole day i wanted to come back on here right quick y'all and share with y'all how my um my little makeup jars and stuff like that came out and then i'm gonna show y'all this other this other like base bowl that I spray painted that I will be putting in my beauty space as well. But I think everything turned out real cute. Sorry for this darkness too, y'all. It's kind of dark, babies. <sighs> okay, wait a minute. I'm gonna try to sit y'all up somewhere. Y'all give me a second. Y'all, so I am back. Don't mind none of this back here in the background because I took my picture off the wall. What was that, yesterday? Could have been a day before, but I took this picture off the wall because I'm gonna bring it down. So don't y'all mind none of this here because I still got stuff that's sitting on this cabinet, y'all. Okay. But anyway, let me just show y'all how these turned out. So this is what they look like, y'all. Okay. Ain't they cute? I think they real cute. And you know what? I thought I was gonna have to go back to the store and get some E6000 glue, but the hot glue actually did the job, y'all. So these, they pretty sturdy. They turned out real, real cute. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Ain't they cute though? I just love the rose gold. The rose gold is just like popping nowadays, y'all. Look at that. I think this is real cute. Now, like I told y'all, um, the painter's tape, when I like took it off, it kind of like messed up the paint on these things. And they kind of looks like they scribbled or I don't know, like little zigzag lines and stuff like that, like a scribble scrabble. <laughs> That's what it kind of looked like, but it don't look too bad unless you just like all up on it, if y'all understand what I'm saying. But I just like how the jars turned out though. I think they turned out real nice. And then I spray painted my, I sure do got a lot of rose gold stuff, girl. I think I'm gonna spray paint. Okay, so y'all know the picture frames that I shared with y'all. I think I'm gonna do them black cause I think I got too much rose gold going on. But this was my bath and body work candle holder. And it was gold. And I just spray painted it rose gold. <laughs> and I still got this candle in here, girl, that I have not burned yet. Cinnamon spice, vanilla, and hot cocoa and cream. I guess I'll burn it this year for Christmas. But yes, baby, I just went rose gold crazy. <laughs> And then last but not least, I did spray paint this right here because this was just a clear like vase bowl, y'all. This is the thing that I had all them royal blue flowers in and I just took all them flowers out and I believe I gave them to the Goodwill. Mm -hmm. 
so I may just end up just putting like some of that that like feather pom-pom stuff up in here or I may just put some flowers in here I don't know but I'm thinking I want to go with the pom-pom like y'all know that little feathery stuff I think I want to put some of that in one of these right here yeah I think that'd be cute but I just got my beads not my beads my pearls coming from from off the side of it because once I put all the stuff in here then the beads are just gonna be hanging to the side y'all it's gonna be really cute so these picture frames chair I think I'm gonna go ahead and do these black now I did one picture frame well actually I did two picture frames black already but they not they're not this size these are the ones that I share with y'all and I already took the glass and stuff like that um out of them but I think I'm gonna go ahead and spray paint all them black. This is one of my picture frames that I spray painted black and I just put my Chanel, um, my Chanel like print in here. Just like picture print from like, I think I got this from off um, a website y'all and I just printed it on paper and I cut it out to fit this, this frame and I just put it in here like this. So I probably end up just spray painting all those uh, picture frames black because I feel like now I got a lot of rose gold going on I do <laughs> but anywho y'all I just wanted to come back on here and share with y'all how my all of my little you know makeup jars and vases and stuff turned out and stuff like that I'm like y'all far from sharing my beauty space with y'all though because like I said I still gotta figure out where I'm gonna put like a lot of my shoes. I'm still trying to figure it out, y'all, because they still in my shoe, they still in my shoe bin, but they're like in boxes. And then I have a lot of my bags, y'all, that's in the box that it came in, but it's in a box where I came here in, which is the box that I packed everything in. Still sitting back there in my beauty room, y'all. I just haven't had time to just like sit down and just like figure out how i'm gonna organize all my stuff now this cabinet y'all even though this cabinet is up in here i still got all my bags in here like look at that y'all y'all probably can't <laughs> girl look at that i still got all my all of my designer bags are still in here because i have nowhere to put them i just have like a ton of bags and shoes y'all i have a ton of bags and shoes and uh, I need to, I need to get my my organization like life right. <laughs> I need to get it together, babies. I need to get it together. But you know what? I don't want to get rid of like all of my shoes because I said I was gonna get rid of a lot of my shoes, a lot of my sneakers and stuff that I'm not wearing, a lot of my heels and stuff like that that I'm not wearing. But I don't want to get rid of too much stuff because I know I decluttered a lot of my stuff when I was older at that other house, y'all. But then again, see, you never know what the Lord going to do. See, the Lord may turn around and put me in a bigger house. And when I say a bigger house, the Lord can do great things, y'all. He can do great things. And I'm dependent on him. So that's the reason why I just don't want to just get rid of everything, everything. Like, y'all, when I get rid of stuff, I be going through some stuff, babies. Y'all, I be going through some stuff. And if I'm not wearing it, I will bless somebody else with it. Just like that. I'll just bless somebody else with it. But majority of my... I'm a sneaker girl. I'm going to say that. So majority of my sneakers, y'all, majority of my heels... Now, I do have a lot of heels and stuff, boots and stuff like that that I'm not wearing. That I'm really not a heel girl anyway. Like, girl, I'll put on a, a skirt with some sneakers. I will put on a dress with some sneakers. Like, I love my sandals and stuff, but I don't have to wear heels with everything. That's just me. I've been like that for quite some time. Basically, all my life I've been like that. I've been a, a sneaker girl. Y'all hear me? And I really didn't like, I really wasn't into a whole lot of bags and stuff growing up as a teenager. It was just me wearing sneakers, like cute little jeans with tees, or I would wear like 
skirts with sneakers and stuff like that or leggings with sneakers with a cute white icy tee or something that's just that's just me back in the day okay and i'm still like that it's just simple fact that i have gotten a little older and i just got into heels for some reason it's like because i know that i go to church and i've got into heels you know i like heels but I got some heels back there in my closet that I need to get rid of that I am not rocking with no more. The heel for one is too high. And then I got some where the heel too low. So, and I ain't even never wore them heels, girl. They just back there in the closet. I ain't never worn them before. But I did review them, but I ain't never wear them. So that's the reason why, I, like that type of stuff, I got to get rid of, y'all. I gotta get rid of and as far as like my bags and stuff y'all know if i got some extra bags or bags that i don't want y'all know i'm gonna bring them to y'all to see if y'all want them and stuff like that because y'all know i'm a giving person <laughs> but um yeah i'm gonna go through my bags again and see what i want versus what i don't want and i'm just gonna get rid of some more stuff y'all i am but like i said i'm gonna I'm a keep majority of my stuff i am because you just never know what the Lord going to do. You just never know what the Lord going to do. But I do know and feel in my heart, y'all. He got great things in store for me and my king. <laughs> he got great things in store for me and my king. And I'm just waiting patiently. I'm just waiting patiently. That's all I can do. I'm just waiting patiently. And when it happens. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. I just thank God that I'm alive right now. I thank God that I'm alive right now, y'all. But anyways, um, yeah, I just wanted to chit-chat with y'all for a minute. <laughs> y'all know I got sidetracked to talk about shoes and heels and all this type of stuff and i need to get rid of this and that but i do know seriously i do need to go through my stuff again y'all i do but i ain't getting rid of a no whole 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 lot of stuff though i just had to say that one more time because <laughs> the lord got great things in store for me and my king yes he do yes he do but i love y'all i'm gonna get off of here y'all i am so sleepy i'm gonna lay it on down babies y'all hear me i'm gonna lay it down i will see y'all next time later babes